Palo Alto City Hall has been getting, what else, a high-tech makeover. KPX 5's Len Ramirez shows us the interactive video wall that constantly receives and shares information. Palo Alto City Hall still looks the same from the outside, but pass through these doors and you get hit by a giant wave of color, bubbles of news, and floating ideas. What used to be there was just a plain wall. It uh, didn't have any moving parts or anything like that, nothing interactive. Yoli Deason says the city's newest piece of public art makes waiting in line to pay a bill or get a permit a lot less dull than it used to be. It's just a lot more mesmerizing and interesting to look at. It's a 20 foot wide interactive video wall just inside the main lobby and part of a $4.5 million renovation of the City Hall interior. The lobby space is an extension of the public square or public forum, that it's a place for discourse, that it's the people space. The piece by Los Angeles artist Susan Narduli is called The Conversation. It picks up Twitter feeds from around Palo Alto and around the world. And so you push the button to join the conversation. And there's so an interactive kiosk where people can instantly add to the conversation or just take a selfie and post it up on the big screen. It's all run by a powerful Windows-based PC in a city hall back room. You'll see as you walk through when there are major global events or for instance in the recent election, there was a lot of chatter about that. People are very passionate about um, certain topics and you certainly see it reflected on the wall. The video wall can also be programmed to carry live news feeds or broadcasts of city hall meetings. Sometimes it's more quiet and meditative and sometimes they sort of chase each other around on the screens. But most of the time it's modern art, our digital life programmed to a display instead of brush strokes on a canvas. In Palo Alto, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.